funny. I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's dual purpose. Yeah, no. It's, it's dual purpose. That's, uh, you know, I, I saw an opportunity I went for it. That was a good joke. Yeah. Oh, man, this is a good cat. All righty. It's Jacob V. Weekly. You can text us live at 314-626-4208. We're streaming live on YouTube. We're streaming live on Twitch. We're streaming live on Facebook. We finally have a Facebook page up and running since the great Nigerian scandal of last year. Finally got back off the ground. The Nigerians stole his Facebook. The Nigerians, brother. Okay, I'm I working would, on a Liam Neeson movie about it. I, I, I was going to ask. I was going to be like, is this actually like a... Um, a yeah, and then they were trying to act like they were me, and they were trying to sell fake puppies. Mm-hmm. The puppies weren't even real. They wanted you to pay. That was the worst part of it, because then it made it look like I was selling puppies, which is morally not the way I would do my life. Well, even if they actually were selling puppies, they were like half a world away. So it's like there's a whole you know, shipping and handling factor of that. Like, even if it was someone that was like, hey, I have this puppy here for you. It's hard to ship like, puppies. Oh, it's in yeah. South Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sorry. it's hard to ship puppies. No, and that's the thing. And they were, uh, I can't talk about it. It's an ongoing investigation. You guys are camera four. I think Nigeria is more like Western Africa. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what are you talking about? Co- he said South Africa. No, I didn't. I would not have. Okay. It's okay. I certainly did not. If if there's any kind of like continental or country kind of like blindness, you can blame it all on me. It's totally fine. It's also known as geographical ignorance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. I'm going to put you guys in the smaller window. Well, you know, have you ever like actually thought about where states are on the East Coast and having no experience with the East Coast, really? I know I have. And uh, some places just you didn't know where they really were. I just it was a guess. Like, like what? Like, like West Virginia as opposed to like, yeah, like North Carolina, South Carolina. I thought they were way further north than they are, but they're like, they're, they're kind of, they're more mid, mid to South East coast. Yeah. I don't know shit. It, it, it makes, uh, it makes the, the great, uh, revolution seem a lot more, uh, feasible. The or great like, revolution. Or like the overall just shape of Manhattan and like uh, where it is. And Long Island is pretty long, but it's not an island. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, United States independence as it were. Just being like, hey, we're just like, uh, I don't know, a geographical map of like 1,500 square feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking <laughs> of. Uh, I'm sorry, Miles, just being like, oh, hey, like we, just, we want more of this. Just last week uh, was uh, Mexican uh, Constitution Day. The Mexican Constitution Celebration Day was last Monday. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't take off work for it, but if I had known, I would have. Tell me more about that. So uh, Mexico had a constitution. And it had something to do with last Monday. Mm-hmm. Like that was the anniversary of the, the must have establishment been. of the Constitution? Must, what, what was, what was, the, was it the 6th? I think it was the 6th. Uh, you, you're the one that told me. Yeah, I was just looking at a calendar at work the other day, and I saw Mexican Constitution Day. <laughs> That's all I got. I always do that. You know how like the like your phone will put random holidays that you've never heard of in your calendar? I always tell people I can't do shit because of those holidays. I kind of gave up on the whole new holiday thing where every day was International Something Day. It just kind of started. Well, right, but that's also like an honorary something that this body can do to, uh, you know, raise somebody up. Well, anything could be anything now because if someone says that you are missing out or need to remember something on I messages or whatever, Mm -hmm. then they can just go ahead and be like, oh, well, oh, do you want me to put a reminder? In here for your yeah. your friend's birthday. Yeah. Or it could be anything. Just be like, hey, you need to pull that yeah. thumb out your ass. And then mm. you could literally just be like, oh, set a reminder, pull a thumb out my ass. And then Siri will just pop up and be like, hey, mm. do you want me to go ahead and set a c- calendar day? There is that one thing that I don't like is when that happens, I still take it upon myself as a person to remember that date and what I have to do that day. And then my phone reminds me and I already knew. And I just want to be like, shut the fuck up, phone. You're just going to go ahead and put that thumb up your butt even Mm -hmm. more, though. I twist it clockwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thumb. So we want to start like we do every week by reminding you to check out Caddyshack of New Hamill, Illinois. Our only real sponsor type relationship right now is with a nonprofit cat rescue. I donate uh, the top of every show to them because they've saved hundreds and hundreds, thousands of cats in counting small family owned operation caddyshack new hamill illinois uh the only way to support this show financially is patreon.com slash jacob v patreon.com j-a-c-o-b-v-i you get exclusive content 
There's a great new collab with a dear friend of mine on there that I just posted last week. Top secret stuff, though. Is that where we can get nudes? Like exclusively on Patreon? Jacob V Weekly Nudes. I hope so. I don't know. He hasn't said anything. Yeah, that's uh, you can get nudes of the cats. There you go. All right, kitty nudes. The cats really like to spread it on the gram. So yeah, uh, I'm in a band called No Antics. We have shows coming up. Keep up with us on Instagram. We have a uh, our next one. We had one we were supposed to do last night, but everybody got sick. It was mm. really a sad situation. Um, no Antics is playing March 4th at Platypus with the Public, Alive Alone, and Daisy Chain. I love Daisy Chain. I love the Public. I don't know Alive Alone yet, but I'm sure they're great. I love Three them. out of four ain't bad. Uh, no Antics is the best band in town. Come check them out. I'm also in a really great band called Blinded by Stereo. We have a vinyl record out for purchase on Bandcamp. We'll mail it to you. Really good. It's also available to stream everywhere. Blinded by Stereo. No Antics. What else do I got going on? Lots and lots of things in the works, some of which we're going to talk about today. Uh, I have a single out called Easy Living, E-Z-L-V-N, Easy space L-V-N on all your streaming platforms. It's been kind of picking up some steam because I've been putting it in some Instagram posts. So if you uh, if you like a gay bar kick drum and a honky-tonk piano, that one's for you. Is uh, is it as good as a as a gay banger as the uh, Vince uh, Vin Diesel Ooh. song? It, was it like I do? Yeah, feel like I do. Feel like I do. That's right. Can you sing that for me? I don't uh, know. Uh, you but I feel like I do. He has an original song. He oh, actually does. He has it, two. It, it literally it sounds like uh, an amalgamation of every single gay club banger that you've ever heard in your entire. Really? Life. Vin Diesel's. Yeah. Yeah, this is like this is original. This is Vin Diesel, baby. Yeah, I did hear this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Don't, I don't want to get flagged. It's, We're a, still, no, it's, okay. it's a bop. It's a bop. Sorry. It's a bop. It's We're a still on the cuck timer right now. We it was a dance in your kitchen because you can't go anywhere else because COVID was happening, Bob. Also, I would say like uh his his publicist was like hey pff, i don't know if this fast and furious thing is gonna work out yeah we might yeah you might want to think of alternative <laughs> like, avenues like, like what are you gonna do after fast and furious 12 we're, okay. we're up to number nine right now i don't know if we're gonna get to number 10 maybe 11 you know mm. we lost paul we're at, at like 10 eight we're at 10 they just, they just dropped the trailer for 10 10 mm -hmm. oh fast x mm, fast right? x there you go mm-hmm mm -hmm. No, they did not call it Fast X. Yes, they mm -hmm. did. Yeah. Fast X for 10, the, the, the Roman numeral. I think after they got after like four or five, they started to go with Roman numerals just to make it seem like a classier kind of thing. It's just definitely class. You know what I've always said about numerals? Classy. Well, I think they should end it on the fastest and the most furious. But the thing is, is that the older we get, it gets more faster and more furious. It does. It's going to max out, though. But I think that this one have ends they gone to space yet? Race. No, they did in the last yeah, one. Yeah, they did in the last one. But mm -hmm. this one, they went to space in the last one. Oh, absolutely. But in yeah. this one, Jason Momoa is the bad guy, obviously, and uh, and they, I think they do end it at a drag race, like they went to race wars in the first one. So I think they're really trying to. Bring, I think Helen Mirren plays like an ant or something too. I don't know what's going. Helen on. Helen Mirren. Yep. Is in Fast Ten. I think you got to look that up. I thought I saw you her have to old look at face that. in the trailer. You have to look that up. I'm gonna IMDb. Helen right now. Mirren. Yep. The actress. I mean, she started doing like Yellowstone shit. She's doing Yellowstone. Yeah. Well, what happened like to her? Nineteen twenty. It must be expensive to live in England. Oh, her, uh, her and Harrison Ford. Everybody yeah. just wants a paycheck, man. You know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're all just working for it. Oh yeah, Helen Mirren plays someone named Queenie. Queenie is the oh, character. Oh, she's name. also in, in, the, new, in uh, the Vin Diesel Fast X. In Fast yeah. X. And then she's also in the new Shazam movie, too. Yes, she is like an elder wizard or witch. She must have like a grandbaby in college or something. I think that all these like older actors and actresses. You think they're like, outliving their retirement? They're just like seeing something coming on the horizon by being like, I got to get this shit in my fucking paycheck. Right I got to cash out. Yeah. I got to cash well, out so I can go on that forever. rocket to Mars with Elon and, and the Kardashians. Go ahead and sign me up. I'm going to go ahead and do this like Marvel. I'm going to do this super. Superhero shit. Well, that's like what person. it's like the Daniel Tosh joke about football players that play for too long. It's like, how much money? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Like, how 
Seriously, because even he says it, he goes really deep in detail in the bit. I forget this is years ago, but that like at some point, like even to be like third string, you could get like eight hundred grand for a season. And it's like you know what? I'm gonna do that. It, it really it, seven hundred and fifty grand to sit on my ass and dress up a couple what? times a week. Thank you. I feel you like we all forget uh, Jerry Maguire because really Cuba Gooden. S- sports playing. It's more about who you have representing you rather than what you actually do on the field. I just need you to show me the money. That's all I need. Yeah. Show me the money. Yeah. Help me help. You know what, though? They canceled Cuba because he was saying, show me them tittays. Oh, yeah. He he got some. He got because he was saying, show me the yams. Is it is it because is it because he got cannot get to the uh, yams? No dogs endeavor. It was snow dogs, and then while on snow dogs, he tried to see a bunch of titties that didn't want to be seen, and then that was it for him. It's a wrap. He has always loved titties. <laughs> he did a, a movie in like the early two thousands with one of those fat comedians that used to be on like Mad TV or something, and uh, Will Sasso. That one, maybe no, it was a different guy. But either way, they faked being gay to get on a cruise with a bunch of supermodels. That was actually Will Sasso. No, Horatio Sands. Horatio Sands. That's who it was. Horatio Sands love was cruise. on SNL though. That's right. You're correct. Yeah. I mixed it up. Sorry. Uh, Horatio Sands was the funny guy after Chris Farley died. Mm-hmm, for a short period. And then for some reason, they tried really hard to get Kevin James into it. And that just didn't stick unless you're in Kevin SNL James was on SNL? No. 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 He, he was trying to be the popular fat funny guy. He oh. was on the Happy Madison train. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, he rode that. We all can't forget Paul Blart Markup. Or Paul Blart. 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 He also had King of Queens. Uh huh. Kings and Queens. Uh, the only reason that that show actually existed was because of uh, Leo Scientology. Mimi's Scientology. Because Satan. Because yes. they Thank sold you. their but soul to the devil. She well, got out of it. And she got tanked. But she got and out for that, that money. And for that, that HBO anything. money. And that was about the same time that King and Queens went, oh, off mm-hmm. the air. Oh, mm. weird. And huh. that was back. That was the only people that were paying for her her butthole shade lipstick. Mm hmm. She has a butthole shade lipstick? She was, was wearing butthole shade lipsticks a lot. You cannot doubt her for the late 90s and early 2000s lifestyle habits. Yeah, that- yeah like, we're, you know, I know the lipstick you're talking about the where butt- it's like a very, it's a very clinical type of mauve. Flesh when they go to it make looks, the, when they make the kissy face, it looks like a butthole. It looks, but the lipstick shade, it looks like a liver. Like, it's just red yeah, enough like that it looks like an organic material, but mm-hmm. mostly bruised. a brown, like a, but they'll do a, like a glitter on it. Mm-hmm. It's a fleshy. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fleshy mauve. Yeah. It's a moist sheen. But there was a it's lip a moist, liner. It's a moist, fleshy mauve. The lip liner, though. And then you line it out, though. But then they'll line it out in like crimson, and then they'll look like a goddamn sorceress. Oh, it's a Car- lot. Carmen Electra. Glenn Carmen. Berger. Carmen Electra used to line a lip. That, Carmen that Electra awful. used to line that lip, honey. That perfect That's example. So lined. Yeah. Hi, Dan. I feel like Miss Cleo. I got this incense burning in front of my camera because I'm too lazy to move it, and I look like Miss Cleo. Text us live. Three. You scared the cats. Huh? Danielle came in. Oh, Danny. Hello, baby. We're just cruising, Daddy. Are you trying to get a beer? We're just sitting in the dark talking about uh, how Leah Remini wore lipstick that was the shade of a butthole. We were talking about butthole shade lipstick in the early uh, early 2000s, late 90s. Kinda. Can I get to the yams? I, I would just call that like flesh colored. It was a fleshy mauve is what flesh, we decided. Flesh colored lip wear altogether. I think I agree though with what we were saying that was liver colored because liver has a very, very like livery. dark like, but also kind of red. It was a livery mauve. Like burgundy. Like a burgundy butthole. Oh, you smell delightful, shade. honey. But it was like you're, matte. You're, you're the best smelly thing in the room. What is it? You got it on you? Uh, Let me hold it up to the camera. Some sort, it looks like lip not balm. Not a sponsor. What? It's not labeled. It's a Glossier, and you can flip it open. Oh, Glossier, <laughs> and you Do flip it open. <laughs> yeah. It's all over the fucking place. It's, so mm, so mm. it's a little vaginal. No. It's a little vaginal. It reminds me of, it smells like something that would be on someone who also has a vagine. She does have a vagine. Well, maybe that's why. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Confirmed. A man could not wear that. A man could not. A man would not wear that. A man could, but it would throw it's into not, But it's not sexy enough. So what she's saying is it's it's perfumey and floral it's a, and sweet, but it's also got has like a little a mer- of musk. It kind of smells, uh, um, what's the term? Menopausal. 
Mm, I, well, you're going to hurt it's, her feelings. No, but in a very clean way. I'm going to have to hear about this later. It smells like a first grade teacher. Clay, smell this. I smelled it. It's been on my neck. No, I really smell, like it. it I really it smells like a school nurse is what it smells like. Okay, let me let me meet you in the middle there. Instead of a first grade teacher, it smells like a fifth grade art teacher that gave up. No, I, I don't feel like it smells like failure. I just no, feel like no, it smells I'm not talking about failure. It I'm smells about like just an, them giving up on giving a shit. It about smells what they like smell an like. older vessel that harbors estrogen. So a fifth grade art teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Or school nurse. Yo, my smell it. Smell it with your mouth, scent. Danielle. How it's dare you? Honey, it's a good scent. honey, I like the way it smells. I, I, love, I, I, I love. I said it. I loved it. The first thing I said was you smell good. That's the first thing I said. That's true. We did say that first. That's how it came up. Derogatory. Get upstairs. Get Derogatoriums. Up, go. go. Go hang out with the dogs in hoodies. Oh, are all the dogs wearing their hoodies? All the dogs wearing the hoodies. Oh, the dogs wearing my dogs hoodies. have matching hoodies. It's on my Instagram. You're welcome. Really I have nine female wives. Go to my Jake, Instagram. Jake, what's that Instagram? Uh, well, we have an Instagram for the show that's at Jacob V Weekly. That's up here on the above here on the, my stream at Jacob V Weekly. We have an Instagram for the show. I am going to post the pictures of the dogs on the show page right now. You can update live, follow along with us at home. I have so many Instagrams I manage now. I mean, if you're not plugging yourself, what are you plugging? You, know? you got to plug yourself. You got to plug it in at Jacob V Weekly on Patreon, patreon.com slash Jacob V Weekly, dogs and hoodies on Instagram at Jacob V Weekly on Instagram. Look at them. They're so precious. They are the love of my life, and it's on the Instagram exclusive right now. Exclusive filter for the Instagram. If you've never seen dogs and hoodies anywhere else before, yeah. I would. They're matching. They look like TLC. Hoodies. They're like a pastel. Like it's a very '90s look. Mm -hmm. I'm tagging my my most recent hit single. I well well like. Don't on go, the like early TLC, or are we talking like Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls? Chase waterfalls. Well, TLC. you know what? You're going to have to go to Jacob Creep. V Weekly on Instagram to find out. At Jacob mm -hmm. V Weekly on Instagram. It's been posted. Look, here I am. You can see my puppies on my phone here. Ain't too proud to beg. Ain't too proud to beg. Yep. Sweet darling, please don't leave me, girl. Let's move on. Oh, don't go. I've been playing music since 10 o'clock this morning. I know. It's insanity. It's that, that means that you still have like a soul. I had mm -hmm. I had children today. I had a group of seven, and I had two drummers and two keyboardists and three singers, and we were and a guitar player who was precious. Oh my god, he's so precious. And we were working on "Tutti Fruity" by Little Richard. Mm. Ooh, really good. Did did you do you have the uh, the capacity to let the kids know that you're teaching that that is actually about like uh, anal sex? Well, no, because that's the problem. Because I remember seeing the movie. They didn't receive the biopic, the Little Richard biopic for like that's, VH1 that's Classic or whatever. It, but it, here's the thing: originally, it, it, it was like a tutti, tutti fruity, fruity loose booty. Good. I thought it was good booty. Good booty. Mm -hmm. Tutti fruity, all Rudy. Ooh. A wop a baloo bop a good goddamn is what yeah, he used to say. Mm -hmm. And then they had a, a young conservative lyricist come in. And, I, I did and meet a girl named Sue, sure. and she knew just what to do no that's mm -hmm. gross that's yeah. not okay to say that's the best yeah. it's in the song but that's also a previous experience in your life that we don't like to talk There's about a girl named daisy she used to drive me crazy, crazy. those are lyrics in the but, song but those are all like actually like uh, we fostered a dog named daisy for a short time who obviously like all like who could know, kill birds she was like hey she looked like a little precious ewok like a teddy bear but she would go out there and capture and kill a bird of i got a woman by ray charles it's i got a woman <laughs> i got a man <laughs> little richard though you know what i've always said about little richard that's different about him and ray charles little richard can see that's true you're, you're speaking facts it's true <laughs> like well have you like what about the whole uh conspiracy theory that ray charles can actually see no that's stevie wonder stevie that they wonder think can see. Stevie wonder? Yeah. yeah ray okay. charles definitely couldn't see well ray charles was blind blind ray charles the, you had to pay him in ones like blind blind well that's that's why he had a deal with pepsi right mm -hmm. because i grew up knowing ray charles is like the pepsi guy I was like, man, this guy really likes Pepsi. For a short time, he was a raisin. Money is money. No, you're thinking of the California raisin. But there was a Ray Charles California there raisin. Was. He, had there was? Big, he had big old white teeth. He, it looked just like him. It was not okay. 
It was it, not okay it was at all. Too much of a likeness. It was race. It was, it it was, was race. Weird. Racial. It was. It had a racial vibe. Because you can't have a race and to compare. You can't compare Mm-mm. the two things without Mm-mm. it's, it's race. It looked too much like him. Of racial at, raisin. It was not okay. Clay, can you pull this up? I remember it. And what do you want me to pull it up on? I show it to him. You mean Ray, no, Ray no, Charles, no, California no, no. raisin. I, I feel like the up. California raisins itself was just like a whole thing of like just like oh well okay that was a that was the time we all lived in. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to show it to you. Are you looking it up for him? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, my God. Ray Charles, California Raisins. That's crazy. Oh, uh, well, I'm just seeing it as like him. Oh, in my God. Creation. Oh, it's horrifying. I'm looking at it. Oh, God. These these ads now, the ad experience. Oh, that was, uh, I think that was a Lipton commercial. No, this here is he California is. Look, Raisins commercial feature. Wait, Ray it's Charles. him as Claymation. Yeah, it's, so it's a claymation. Not even him as a raisin. Yeah. Oh my god! But then it's the California. He's playing with the California raisins. Okay, but <gasps> what's worse? Is, no, is this you know commercial what? Worse? You know what? I don't see where because this, is- this reminds me a lot of that no diggity Black Street video. Oh, oh, oh! There you go. What? what? Oh, that's not okay. I'm watching this thing. This is not okay with me. I'm gonna send this to Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching the same thing I'm watching? No. I, I feel like the whole idea of someone coming up with an Here's ad the thing. campaign for so a he's not. So style? I misspoke. Let me correct the record officially. They didn't turn Ray Charles into a raisin, but they made a claymation Ray Charles that I just don't feel like is okay for uh, some reason. I just sent you a picture of a, raise, of a California raisin toy that looks like Ray Charles, but it's definitely a raisin. See, and that's not So I think they either. did do it, but the main thing was the commercial with him being claymation. But I guess he consented to that. He probably got paid a bunch a bunch of money. Do you think they paid him all in singles? The or do you think pro- they the, could write him checks the by thing then? Was, is well, they, could, they, he, could he be able to tell the difference he, between the bills if they paid him in well, cash? The, I was going to say, the big, the big issue with that whole thing But that's the thing. That's like, why he had to get paid in singles, so that he knew. <laughs> they thought, he'll never see this, well, so that's, we can get away with it. You know what? And this is awful. But that's the first thing I thought when I was watching. I said, thank God he could never see this. Mm-hmm. Because he would be mortified at what they did to his image what, and his likeness and what, his legacy and his good name. Is it is this like we're talking about like this is what the the California raisins are doing to Ray Charles' memory? What's about like uh, fucking Pepsi, like setting Michael Jackson on fire or some shit? Well, that happened. <laughs> they yeah. did that. They set him on fire at that sh- Super Bowl. I thought it was a hit. Early early nineties, like just basically like any generation. Like <laughs> I don't know. I thought that performance was pretty fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's our time. <laughs> On that note, well, I mean, for speaking of uh, of of late musicians, we could talk about Burt Bacharach passing away. Yeah, R.I.P. Burt, Big Birdie Back. He was ninety four. I had no idea 94. he was still alive. Yeah. Well, that's because there hasn't been an Austin Powers movie to go ahead and bring him in. But that Rome. seems like such a w- it's missed, like it's such years. a wasted opportunity. If I had known he had been alive this whole time, we could have done another one. I, I think that he had probably already sold off all of his music rights, though. That's why he had existed within the uh, Austin Powers universe. Or at least in my mind. He probably sold him out 30 years ago. Th- he never thought Birdie. he'd live to be this old. Birdie back. Yeah. I mean, I never knew about Burt Bacharach until I was like five. I only know him. I only know him from Austin Powers. And he wrote like one Dusty Springfield song that I think the White Stripes covered. And so that's the two things I know about Burt Bacharach. And now he's dead. Well, and he he also existed within that weird like 70s like sphere of being like the attractive white guy to go ahead and sing like covers or songs no it was a it was an older thing yeah no but like before that even no 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 no. yeah well maybe no he was like the 70s 80s version he was like the 70s 80s version of michael bolton i mean it's like you guys ever listen to covered everything you ever listen to can i touch you there by michael bolton no are are we thinking about are we thinking about michael bolton or michael mcdonald because michael mcdonald listen baby michael bolton actually okay so here's the thing i think i think you're thinking about michael mcdonald no that's michael mcdonald McDonald. no that's michael mcdonald but here's the thing the michael bolton that i'm thinking of that song sounds a lot like michael mcdonald oh of course it's sexy though. It's very sexy. It's too sexy. I mm. Michael McDonald is like way too sexy though. That's the uh, thing. 
He he's he's too sexier for other people he to realize. He was the sexiest bag of skin on stage. Yeah, he seriously. You know what though? Because women that age love him. If I my, hear Yamo be here one more time. I'm a Yamo yeah. kill everybody in the store. Uh, my I'm a Yamo unalive I'm a Yamo myself. Burn this Our friend's down. mom is an old lady, and we were at a family wedding, and she was dancing to "What a Fool Believes" by the Doobie Brothers. Like Jesus oh, had just come back. She was like she tons. was on the dance floor. She was like transported to another time. It was creeping me out. I, it, Sometimes it takes a song to take you back. Those songs are all bangers, though. Have you guys? Listen, have you guys baby. actually? Have you all actually ever seen um, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire live? Uh, not in person, oh, but I, I I have watched a live concert on YouTube, and I think at one time they were the best live band in the world. Nothing can compare to seeing them at like live. Like for real, but that was their thing, right? It, it was it, it, well, it was an adventure on stage. So so it they were made, going through the earth. It made they were sense. transcending our space. The idea is that they literally had like a, a spaceship that brought them down on stage, right? And then they spit them out, and then they just started like playing their music. But the whole premise, <laughs> or what makes sense about the name of Earth, Wind, and Fire, is that they encompass everything. It's all the elements: earth, wind. And fire, water, like air, <laughs> like everything, wind. like everything that you wind want and air. to experience. It's just like it, it's an all encompassing thing. Fire and heat, and they've been able to keep that fucking shit going since was the seventies. Earth and was, rocks. Was there an Earth, Wind, and Fire song in the Fifth Element? Um, it seems like a missed opportunity. Clay, can you Wikipedia the soundtrack to the Fifth Element? I, I can guarantee think, you that there's there's not. It. It, there, the only song that I can think of from the Fifth Element that's actually like Wikipediable the is that, that opera singer. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. Clay, can you make sure there's no Earth, Wind, and Fire association with the Fifth <laughs> Element? I'm looking at it now. <laughs> New letter, good fortune for you. So. <laughs> No, most of the you score, are fire. Most of the score for the Fifth Element looks like it came from someone named Eric Serra. Uh -huh. S E R R A. Yeah, we're we're really into film composers on this show. Kai, a couple weeks ago, we talked about this guy who did um, the score for Lord of the G String, which oh, I know you've seen. I rem I did listen to that. Oh, uh, was that it? Was that a uh, Cinemax special? Yeah, it was a Cinemax thing. Okay, um, I remember actually. I, I've, I've probably. Seen I remember that. actually seeing that as a youth. Mm -hmm. And the score is like a like a kind of a '90s new age EDM with a slight Celtic afterbirth on it. It's really goofy. It's uh, it's okay. pretty rough. And I remember, but I remember the acting was amazing. So yeah. so this actually just made me realize a question that I would love to ask to you guys. Do you think that John Williams a can ever retire, and b if he could or could not? Could he sell out and go ahead and score like a Cinemax? Like I, I'd be surprised if he had like soft I'd be, skin I, porn. That would be fun and everything, but also I feel like he is in the past now, and Hans Zimmer is more the guy. Mm -hmm. If dude, a Hans Zimmer porno flick would be so intense, dude. You I wouldn't. Would... I, I wouldn't be able to get hard. I'd be too nervous. Wow. The suspense. Hey, wow. <laughs> 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 it's like what? <laughs> What is he Stop. saying? Stop their breathing so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Hans. Hans. Hans, it's literally a soft core fuck film, dog. I mean, I, I'm still matter. kind of uh he I'm will still take kind you of, out of yourself. I'm kind of zimmered out from the Modern Warfare 2 soundtrack, anyways. Uh, like No, the original one, no, not the not the new one. I mean, he's just done a lot. I know. But who are we talking about? John Williams? Uh, yeah, John Williams. So apparently he just actually um, soundtracked the new Indiana Jones film. Did he really? Yeah, so Harrison Ford is not done. I know, he just keeps Dude, going. Dude, oh, I would have sworn. Ford. I would have sworn they were done after the one with Shia LaBeouf. Oh, no. But they, the they, thing yeah. is, is no, now, they're now they're also doing the thing where it's like, like they did with... Uh, with um, Robert De Niro in the Irishman. Like a... Sorry, I totally blanked. What they did with Robert De Niro in the oh, Irishman? The de -aging? They're, they're doing the de aging thing, mm -hmm. so they're doing time jumps. I thought Harrison Ford let them kill him in Star Wars because he didn't want to do any more Star Wars. And uh, now he's doing Yellowstone and Indiana he's doing Six. Yellow, well, him and Helen Mirren are doing Yellowstone 1923. I, I or whatever. think that he's got a lot of planes he needs to pay for. 
I think that he's got some mortgages that he's uh, just coming up to go. Get off my plane. (laughs) Get off my APR finance rate. (laughs) Get off my reverse mortgage. (laughs) Where's my family? (laughs) It's time for dinner. I think I think Calista Flockhart is pushing him to go ahead and do these things. He's like oh, Harrison, uh, Harrison, Harry, Harry Harrison. Harrison. Listen, I I've been really cool. Half million dollar bathroom. I've been really cool about you sticking it in the maid. How about you go make me a movie? I don't think he's sticking it anywhere. He, he seems sticks tired. it. He, st- he he's seems on, tired. Dude, he's in a Blue Chew commercial. Oh, I don't. I I think that that's a lot. I think that he's just like literally just calling it in at this point. I really do. Because I, I don't, he, he's got, you, he didn't you can start, tell. He didn't start in the biz the until Harrison, he was 30. It's the Harrison Ford point, right? It's the, it's the point. He has this, he has this move that he does. It's the two finger point where he like throws it at someone. He's do like, that. you can't tell me because the, oh, he, that. he can't, he, he yeah, you know exactly yeah, what I'm talking he does about. does do that. Because he can't deal without conflict. Everything has to come into conflict immediately in his role because he's not much of a character actor at this point Man, to go ahead and throw nuance John in. Williams he just can. does shit. John Williams literally has soundtracked your, enchi- your entire childhood. But he's also entire- soundtracking things that I didn't even know existed that are totally like B list. I can like, literally, I can tell you Bat things off Woman. the top of my head. Like, hey man, you got like, steady work. You got like, work. Uh, fucking Home Alone, Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, It, Chapter Star Two, Wars, It, like Shazam. He, he, he doesn't, he can retire. Like, he could just be. Oh, done. he did Vice, where when, um, Christian Bale played uh, Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. Yes. That was a masterpiece of yeah. a film. And there's a whole moment in that in that movie where they do like the credits, like, oh, he's a good guy and he retires with his family and blah 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 blah. And they do like a whole fake credit thing. And yeah, that's some John Williams fucking music, like right there. You could you you could just smell it. Do you know do you know how good he is at what he does? Is because his shit that he did with Home Alone is mm-hmm. synonymous with Christmas music. Yes, it is. Like I you can literally, you can put it on. Was Christmas music? Yeah, exactly. You can literally do like. <laughs> Kevin. Anyway, <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> it's like. Oh my God. Was that too loud? Well, I was just, no, I was going to say too, like this is the thing that everybody loves. Home Alone is Christmas, is Christmas <sighs> everything, right? But what the fuck did Kevin McAllister's dad do to be able mm, to dude, afford that? He that was home. selling CIA. slaves. He, CIA, right? No, 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 no. Unless he was, unless he was like sustaining his his like CIA unit with like cocaine deals, because uh, maybe he was Black hooking up. What was the, the Tom, What was the Tom Cruise movie Sorry. where he um where he flew the plane? He was the real oh, for Escobar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that was, what was but that? But that's called? the real guy, Barry Allen or something. Was the that, guy's name? Barry Allen's that's the, Flash. the name of the Flash. Yeah. Uh, Barry Allen was the Flash and he was flying cocaine for George H.W. Well, Bush. I, I would say that's it's why like they never caught this, him. This was like during like uh the fucking uh Dude, that uh, would have like, been the peak of the fucking deep the state Iran too, brother. Contra embargo. Dude, the CIA had like, money, sister. I, I would totally believe he worked for the government. Or maybe he worked for like fucking uh who makes well, missiles and shit. Well we uh the, uh, uh, America? Move. No, but who? <laughs> Raytheon. I think maybe he was a military weapons contractor, dude. Well, they were up in Chicago. They were obviously in the suburbs. What's up there? In, what's up there in Chicago? Um, can't the oh, Canadian um, border? Honestly, like uh, we are. He played more... Barry Seal. Barry Seal in American Made, and so that Barry Seal yes. was a real guy yes. who was flying cocaine, and when he got arrested. He had George. Bush's phone number in his pocket or some shit. And he was like, you could go ahead and ask my friend. And he could go ahead and tell yes. you otherwise. I advise you to call my employer. So. Yeah. Well, but Kevin McAllister's dad. Worked for Raytheon. Right? They made missiles that killed orphans. Had to have obviously been being paid more Specifically than. Specifically orphans? Like the missiles only killed Dude, orphans? that first movie, he was taking the whole family to France or some shit? Paris. No, Paris. Paris, France. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For Christmas. I like how I said France and y'all said, no, Paris. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't no, know. Yeah, I don't know no. if you know a lot about France, but Paris is a is a big thing there. It's kind of its own living thing. This is this is the best part about these entire movies, though, is how the second movie had the entire families come up and come into play. 
because they came, to, they went down to like Miami and they had like a shitty, like rainy Christmas. Good, fuck them. And then Kevin went to like New York City. Yeah, and had like, a cheese like, pizza and a limousine <laughs> and a pigeon <laughs> lady. Uh, and Master he, and he, Kevin, you're very old. And he got directions to the elevator from Donald Trump. Pizza. Yeah. No, yeah, no, that, that whole movie was literally like, at least in the 90s, I don't know about you guys, was like the whole like, fuck shit, like this is what life is like. No, it was really when uh, we really started to spoil the common folk by revealing to them the optimal. See, what happened is LBJ decentralized elitism and he, and he built it into like a privilege class where there were checkpoints along the way. And then what happened, though, is you have this standard of living that we invented and crafted in this country in the 20th century for the first time in human history, a caliber of life that was so grand. But in order to maintain it, we had to let everyone believe it was possible for them so they didn't cut our heads off. Well, you got to sell it. Well, now it's all fucked up. You got to get everyone hungry and you got to make everyone want it. Well, and then I- they go for it. And then you really capitalize on everything. And that's how we that's how we do it. And then we keep the rich rich. We keep the poor poor. And it doesn't trickle. Yeah. But it, I'm it, broke, so I'm on the wrong I'm side broke. of the that, fence right now. I need that, to I, I need up. we need to I need to switch that up. I need to start over. Patreon.com slash Jacob V. Get that trickle going. It's only four dollars a month. It's a dollar a week. It's the cheapest yeah, Patreon subscription available. And then he had to get it fixed. Think think about think about just how much a dollar a month out of your own pocket would cost to support Jake. And then just like how much that would mean to Jake. I'm like, thinking about like, reaching like, out. I'm thinking about reaching out and just have everyone I know on Facebook send me one dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Like literally, if we just all helped each other out, just like one dollar, two dollars, like two dollars a month. What? What's your fucking I'll Disney it, Plus subscription? I'll pay it forward. Actually, I paid for Disney Plus three years in advance because it was like half off. Oh, and then you thought it was going to be hot shit, and then you actually like kept up with everything. You were like, oh, it's okay. This, this sucks ass. Let's no, I honest. like it a lot. Really? I like the Disney hey, Plus Strange a lot. World was a good movie. Okay, no, Strange but World I just like having movie, I like okay. having a consolidated place to have all that stuff because I do really like superhero movies well, and that, so having all those in one place and yeah, the Star but dude, Wars they're stuff killing it. they're that killing was, all of it that was life for all of us like five years ago when we had like what Hulu Netflix but that's probably when I paid for the Amazon. three years yeah. yeah now you can't even watch The Office without you know what though my Facebook. other favorite streaming service or my probably my favorite streaming service right now is Paramount Plus oh Paramount Plus fucks Paramount, yeah. Paramount yeah. Plus oh, is it's so it's good at, it's, it's so, so good and like that's probably the one I would keep what's the real like ticket thing so the other day I watched my wife huh? was out of town the other day, so MTV. I I oh. sat here playing Red Dead Redemption, and on one of these monitors, I had Reno 911 playing wow. for six straight hours. Wow! I was totally glued in here. I was foaming I, at the mouth. I'll also you say, like, uh, the, the Wild Boys, like, Jackass, like, all that MTV stuff that they had originally. What about Next? Yeah, the MTV stuff is good, and then um, I like the... Uh, we actually got Paramount Plus so we could watch all of Drag Race. Uh, oh. Okay, well, that's a big thing. I I I got the Paramount Plus for. It's got uh, all of all of the drag the, races ever. The Yellowstone shit. Oh, Yellowstone's on there. I'm a Yellowstone motherfucker. I need I'm to sorry. watch it. He's been trying to push. Is that Kevin it. Costner too? Yeah. He's How saying, are these people making money? He said it's like Breaking Bad, but it's, with cows. It's yeah. It's it's basically Breaking Bad, but instead of being in fucking like Arizona, it's New Mexico. in Montana. I'm it's sorry. Well, it's uh, instead of in the desert, it's just like you up in the mountains. Cultured bitch. And instead of uh meth, it's cattle and just land and it's like well my ancestors died for this and it's just like a whole bunch of shit where you're just like oh my god you don't know anything it's just yeah it's beautiful it really is oh so yeah paramount plus is mtv smithsonian nickelodeon cbs BET, the nickelodeon shit's good Comedy too Comedy nickelodeon Central. Shit's where it's i didn't at. know i had bet i could, I could be watching got BET. Any updates on jeremy renner that guy got fucked up he's okay He's going to be all right. He, yeah, he, he had like over 40 bones break because he had a 15,000. But he was able to post a selfie the next day. He's going to be all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just hope that he can still act. I don't think that's happening. I th- well, he has a show that he's promoting on his Instagram I th- all the time. Well, he's, I not think gonna be a, he's not going to be a Hawkeye ever again. No, I, I think he'll be lucky to walk again. He got again. his own show before it happened. So that's, that's uh, his, his, legs got, his legs got crushed. Yeah, bad. Yeah. Like, Poor guy. Crunch, crunch. He, yeah, he got crunched up. Like those baked potatoes that lady do on TikTok. I think he might be home now. He sent, he put a picture on his Instagram of his front door actually not having snow in front of it for the first time in a while. And <laughs> He's like, come get me now. He was like, oh, my God, I, there's an actually there's a door here. That's well, crazy. So so the, you know why he actually that happened to him? It's actually kind of stupid. Hot take. This was easily preventable. Right. Yeah, it just happened. So, no, he he I think that he put 
a snow mover. He didn't put it in like park or something like that. He he hopped out to like talk to his neighbor real quick, and, and then, then it, it just started fell, going. Yeah, and it yeah. fell back or just started mowing over his own limbs. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's, like, it's a dumb mistake that it happened, but like, uh, I mean. He he got out of the vehicle to talk to his neighbor who was like stuck in their driveway or something. It yeah, was... no, he pulled out his like snow eater to get his neighbor out of there. Yeah, no, that thing is massive. It's like a so fifteen thousand like, pound machine. How, how do you think his neighbor fucking feels? Horrible, probably. <laughs> I hope that he got at least one cobbler since then. You know, delivered something. No, no, some he, brownies. He, he lives. He lives. Uh, he lives in the Great West or like up north. So they like don't. Montana, they don't right? do like the the cobblers or anything like that. Or do they? I don't know. I don't know. It's like some kind of like I've never cookie, been to Montana. Pie. It's like we we have the I midwestern like thing of like, hey, I know you've experienced a big uh, a big tragedy, so I went ahead and baked you a big old uh, a big old casserole. Maybe soups. I I don't know soups how you feel for my about family? cornflakes, but I went ahead and put one in uh, on top of a well. That's the thing too, potato casserole. You know he's on some fucking weird ass diet too. So it's like I got you some raw quinoa. I love you so much. Yes, so he's he's a. Uh... He's, he only Dude, I don't eats know. I feel like Jeremy Renner is like probably one of those guys that's just like fuck this, fuck that shit. You guys tried to make me the next Jason Board, but you went back with like. Oh yeah, they did do the legacy. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did, guys... they did him dirty on this. Didn't they make him hella dumb? No, no, no. It was a, he was pill reliant. His abilities were based on but, uh, medication. But didn't he start getting really stupid? Yeah, no, because he he ran out of the medications he had to take to keep himself being Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne. And I so don't know. I felt like, like they cucked him. It was they. Oh well, they, they did him dirty. They hard. made him reliant on the medications to to maintain his level of skill. Is what it was. But the part where he had Bourne to act was stupid Jason though Bourne. was. I wouldn't have done that if I was him. Well, you know, it's not like he like pulled a Sean Penn or something. Dude, you know? he kind of went Sam. No, he, he didn't went a go little s- Sam. No, for a he second. did not go Sam. He went a little Sam no, for a he second. Did not go. It Sam. was a little. It was a little much. I, I thought Sam. it was a little. The face he made. I was I like, Sam. It's not okay uh, to make that face. That's what he's saying. He I made know. a face. He didn't make a face. He made a face that Pull I'm not okay with. Pull it up. Go ahead. I have I to find the scene. Out. I don't know if like. So this is my thing, right? Is that I feel like Sean Penn's greatest. Tour de Force, uh, as it were, <laughs> was uh, in the uh, Mystic River. Oh, yeah, Mystic he, he, River, he where he's like, where he's like, literally like being like pulled back by yeah. like everybody. Being, like, <laughs> they had an, o- like, they had um, he's oxygen. Like, oh, let me, oh, a, <laughs> they, let me see my daughter. They had an oxygen oh, tent. Let me see my daughter. On like site, that, like, like he was like, I'm gonna sell it, and they had an oxygen tent on site. To, oh, like, because he like passed because out. He yeah. like, yeah, he screamed himself silly, and they had to like, like what? He's like, what? They what? did. They, they had, had oxygen. They had medical intervention for him for after the Dude, scene. I'm not I don't lie. Like, I don't like that. He That's got a little he much. got the Oscar, and he he deserved it. He he did. I mean, and but he, this is the thing, though. Is that, but like, I this am is, Sam was not a good idea. Uh, you never, you never go full. No. You never go no, full armor. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we all know that from Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder, guys, guys, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? We're talking about fucking. You can't go full R word. Yeah, uh, right. That. But we all know where that's from. We don't have to. And we're talking, of course, about Tropic Thunder, which some was people, a film. Full, some people might not. I hate you. No, you don't. You love us. That's why you asked us to full, be here full, with you. Full retard. Is what we're saying. It's no, no, that I remember that too. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, I got sorry. it. Okay, no, I, I know. I was it. just saying. Oh, I I was like, I now didn't know, we can move like... on. Oh, trust me. I know. <laughs> what, what else are we talking about? Uh, good point. We've hardly touched the show prep. We really got going there. Missouri nice lawmakers thing. vote against banning children from carrying guns in public. What? Have you not heard about this? No. So this is a huge problem. That... Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> here's a, here's they the thing. They vote against Missouri. Children. Will you oh, fucking yeah. listen to me? Yeah. Yeah, Missouri yeah. lawmakers vote against banning children from carrying guns in public. A Democrat who sponsored the proposal said police ask for the change, adding that we have 14 year olds carrying AR 15s legally. What is this like the, the rebel child army thing? Going no, on? But that's the thing is that there are instances, very right. real instances that the police are reporting of them having complaints of literal children Walking the streets, open carrying semi-automatic weapons. Yeah, well, we were just talking last week. Uh, you and I well, were talking about, well, about who, the carjackings. Who, who are they hurting? Well, the, well, there's the carjackings <laughs> happening now. Lately. Oh my god, the <laughs> proposal was defeated 104 to 39. Oh no! Only a single Republican voted in favor, even though the push was initially touted as a bipartisan effort. Yeah, there is currently no minimum age to openly carry a gun in Missouri. Go ahead and fling them and swing them, baby. That's it. Fling it and swing it. Fling them and swing them. A number of local holdups by armed teens. Okay. 
mean, can last, you, can, last, can last you imagine, I checked, this is America. Can you imagine I'm what sorry. an AR-15 would sound like dragging behind a fucking five-year-old? Behind a toddler? Uh, just behind a toddler. Can you imagine how loud? It's okay. They start playing They start playing Call of Duty and shit at the age of five, and so now when they all know how to... If you're scraping an AR-15 across a fucking gravel driveway... Ooh, oh, my God. A gravel driveway. And a diaper, barefoot... Your feet are bleeding. And they're well, eight years old, but they're still wearing the diaper. Well, and well, the gun think, is bent. Thank God Kyle Rittenhouse could just go ahead and die for our mm-hmm. sins. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Like, he really he really walked so we could run. He 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 brought up the the hard questions that we all have to answer God, for Jesus. right mm-hmm. now. I don't know why they didn't put his mama in jail. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. I said, put mama in jail. This them. is my whole thing, right? Is that I don't know about you guys, but whenever I was a child. Not only did I have to worry about, I don't know, whether it was legal for me to carry or o- or open carry a, a a firearm. Yeah, you were just worried about mm-hmm. covering up the porn. I was, the yeah. No, I was literally worried about, like, <laughs> trying to hide the amounts of porn that was just blocking up mm. my home desktop or just getting home that on time. Wire. You know, like, it's like, cool. Like, is this LimeWire, like, download that I'm blocking up everything for going to be worth my time or what's going on here? Well, you really... Dude, that was the thing. When I was using the internet in those days, nobody else in my house was using the internet at the same time Uh, because we didn't have smartphones yet. And so, like, being able to download, like, Robin Thicke's greatest hits on LimeWire, I could just do it. Nobody was... I wasn't jamming anybody up. It'd be late at night. Yeah, you would you would put it up late at night. It'd be like, yeah. okay, cool. Like everybody's asleep. Nobody's eleven. PM. Yeah, nobody's gonna call on the phone, so I can line wire it up five a.m. and see how this. Download Let me come is check going. on my fucking the Eagles box set. But like, okay, but like, cool. We got like fucking like what like like what like eight year olds carrying like nine yes. mills yes. or something like that. No, 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 is no. that what no, they're we open have, carry like, rifles? Happening. Yes, because it's Just legal like, for them to open carry rifles. Handguns, I think, have a minimum age. For ownership still, but uh, most rifles, I think the article was saying um, that there's currently no legal minimum age for open carrying. Hey, you in know Missouri. what? Hot take. Let it let it sort itself out. Well, it it seems to be. It's not. <laughs> like, it's not going to be pretty. Oh well, yeah. Hey. Well, you know I think what? we need a little right. more of that. Here's my thing: if you have to shoot a baby, leave the gun on him until the cameras get there. Mm-hmm. If you have to shoot a baby in the street because he's open carrying and he's holding up a shell station, <laughs> like, like if let you have him to shoot a baby. Maybe take the magazine out of the gun, but leave <laughs> like, the gun on the baby so everyone knows that he had that gun. You want those shells to stay on those cheeks. Mm-hmm. Now you're just creeping like, me out a little bit. What? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like you want to set a you scene. Wanna, no one yeah. wants to shoot a baby. No one. But well, you might like, have to. But if you have, if to. you're a fucking cop and you're at a shell station and a baby has a rifle and they're pointing it at people, I would drop the baby. Personally, yeah, I drop. I him. mean, it's still a threat, but I mean, at the same, time, I'd have to drop him. Like it's not. Just, it's like, not going to work like, out. A drop it's not going like, to work out to like, anyone's get, like, benefit. A little, like, pep in your step and just go ahead and just be like, <laughs> and just like. Just kick that kid Do you square. Know I don't know. What if you're what Do if you're you know twenty how feet easy away? It is to make a child cry. Yeah, like I know you, how you easy can, it's. You can debilitate them just by making them sad. I know you can how take easy it is to them. make me cry. <laughs> like, yeah, we just got to put on some fucking Phil Collins or uh, or uh, Peter Gabriel. Just, no, Linda Ronstadt <laughs> and uh, fucking ooh. Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck. Um, did you guys hear uh, that? Okay, so guys, you, we've been everyone's been beefing with Leo because he uh, he won't date women over a certain age. As, yeah, well, he's, he's rich like enough. A, he, now he's he dating a nineteen-year-old model. Yeah. Right, the nineteen's a little young for me. Apparently, Listen, apparently gross. they were trying it's to fine. link Misha Barton up with Leo when Le- when Misha was nineteen. Yeah, who's who's not surprised about that? But it's like resurfaced as a thing because I think everyone's mad about Leo dating a 19 year old now. Well, like who? Okay, this is the thing, right? Is that in the grand scheme of things, who really gi- who really gives a fuck? Well, and here's no, my thing: though. <laughs> everyone's bored and they want to ignore their own problems no, okay. by looking at other people's problems, and okay. these are the ones that get but heavy like, circulation. But did the girl complain about anything? Well, this is the thing: is that I'm sure she was having. This is the thing. Is that as as the the schlubby bearded white guys that we are talking about this? I'm sure that we have schlubby. a lot to say. Schlubby, schlubby, schlubby is putting it nicely. Scruffy <laughs> looking, scruffy and schlubby. 
Uh, Who are you calling a nerf herder? Uh, fucking Leo has his like pre twenty five deal, right? Like we all know this. It, I thought as it was, yeah, they fact. turn twenty six and like then they turn twenty six that he's done, and then he puts them down a shoot like gives, as a giver. He, he gives so, them a watch and he throws them a banquet, and then they get to go on their way. So they get why, like a quinceanera. They get retired out. Why should it be they get any a weirder that he's like seeing uh, someone that's like? Pre-20s. I think he's trying to get more time out of her. I think it's lovely. Yeah, he wants yeah. to get a solid five and a half years before he has to kick it. Yeah. Like five and a half, three and a half months, like whatever he wants. Like whatever he wants to do is his own fucking business, man. I mean, he worked the, hard for it. Can like, I ask this in, in relation to the age gap situation there? How old was uh, Anna Nicole Smith's old ass husband? Oh, man. He was, he was in his 70s and she was like 25. When- Right, something like that. Yeah, it was like, like a forty. I want to say it was a forty-nine year age gap. I'm not something gonna lie. Like, like Anna Nicole was like, girl, one of my one the, of my at favorites. The, at girl, the time. yeah, like the that. She is who made me discover who I am as a man. Mm-hmm. Honestly, she's yeah. the one that broke his family computer. <laughs> <laughs> she she got like, that big ass on that computer, baby. Like, I'm sorry, you want to talk about bandwidth? I don't, so. I don't, I don't <laughs> want, I don't want anybody to be the skinny minis. I was like, I'm not a Cindy Crawford guy. I'm not a Pamela Anderson guy. I, yeah. I'm a fucking yeah, and a Nicole uh-huh. guy, guess jeans. Kirstie so Alley. What I was getting at was oh the age gap Kirstie Alley. Did you just thing. say Kirstie Alley like Cheers? Yeah. Oh yeah, Fucking buddy. Right. Some Whew. neck bone. You know what I mean? I'm like know, a bitch. Yeah. I've never, I've My never thing found is, her that attractive. Thick I, wasted, thick eyebrows. I want to know that you can make a gravy. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. If you can't, I'm make trying a to build a home. Yeah. <laughs> I work hard it's to make like, this place a home. It's like I don't want to settle down with you, but I just want to know that, like, if if I wanted to go ahead and like have a cookout, that you could just go ahead and make. If me we a gravy. get snowed in, I want to know that we're gonna have gravy. Yeah, like, do we have? Mm. If we have fat and flour, we can make gravy. Fat and flour would be a great name for like some like really pretentious like farm to table restaurant. Oh, like a double F like yeah. facing each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. gross. I love it. No, you know exactly what I'd I'm talking there. about too. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll have like beanies I mean, with I little wouldn't anchors spend, on I wouldn't them. spend $18 on a burger, but like I'd eat there. We're going to have Carhartt aprons. What? <laughs> I feel like we're talking Carhartt about aprons. like at least a half a dozen places. It's yeah. Like someone, right someone, <laughs> someone feels attacked. I'm digesting <laughs> food from one of these places right now. I think <laughs> that's a real thing. A Chinese buffet does not count as one of these places. No, this yeah. is the hippest Chinese buffet in town. The People... fact that it's 2023 and we're three years post COVID and there and there is still a Chinese buffet is insane. Do you know how cheap it was? I want to know. I don't. I don't feel like that's like a thing that you should sell stop, people on. Stop. Hold on. How cheap was it? It was seriously less than getting the takeout we would have normally gotten. It was like thirty four dollars for both a person. Of us. Oh. No total. Oh gosh, that is affordable. Kai guess. Kai ate forty seven dollars with the king and I this morning. I no, but we did spend a hundred dollars at Gramophone. Gramophone. Mm. Oh, well, but how we many did sandwiches? Also drink. Oh, you guys drink. Yeah, we were drinking, but also we we all got sandwiches and soups, and they had a craw- they had a crawfish. Ew! Soup. I fucking had the worst experience at Benton Park Cafe one time. We went there because the kitchen was open late, and we've been drinking all night. And then I had a big old bowl of the tortilla soup that they made that morning. That's that's where you went wrong. Yeah, you fucked. Nothing up. sets off a gut full of liquor like some hot soup. Hey, at least you why, didn't. At least you, you didn't get the lobster the bisque. At least you didn't get the lobster bisque of the ice and fuel in Kirkwood. That, that's a did lot. that happen to you? Danielle did it. It was a ga- it was a gamble. I was like, what did you just do? What have you done to us? I I don't. We I, survived. I feel like ordering the soup of the day anywhere is like a hot gamble mm-hmm. what's the like, soup du jour what's the su- uh, soup of the day <laughs> hey what's the uh, sounds good do you have that. a cold drain of pathogens that's 10 hours yeah. past the danger zone you know if you got some old milk i'll just take that no it's really great it's it'd if be it's safer like, if you drink a glass of room temperature milk that was left out overnight i think it, over a fucking f- simmering petri dish if my milk broth. isn't furry i'm not drinking it. if it's beef broth based or anything like that then it's actually probably pretty good because then it's just going to be like reducing all day it's going to be salty. It's going to be delicious. But anything else other than that, like. Mm. You know why I really put a ring on it is Danielle makes soups like a motherfucker. She makes so many soups. That's the most Midwestern thing I've ever heard. You should put She's that. soup bitch. Hey, you should it. put that in your vows. I think we can make. You should let me write your vows and I'm going to I'm going to make She's it. soup bitch. And I love See, because that's the thing. I'm such a craftsman. A craftsman with words. I'm a, such a wordsmith. I call him a wordsmith. Yeah, that's, I'm a that's wordsmith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, the thing there is, if you made it all about <laughs> how you just, you know, you wanted to build like, a home with someone that can brew a soup, you know what I mean? Like, no, no, yeah, I, I, I didn't even know bitch. it. I didn't even know it. But when I figured it out, I was like, uh oh, count me in. I feel like she make them soups, boy. That that's how most people end up like getting into marriage, though. At least in the Midwest. Being like, oh man, the, uh, the one really way great. to a man's heart spending, is through his stomach. I love spending time with you, but we live together, and you can make a really good soup. So, yep. <laughs> here we no, go. No, it's because we have winters here. She made me so many good soups that I took her to Europe, and I proposed to her on a mountain. Okay, congratulations. A mountain. I'm very excited about that. Hey, have you picked a date? We're we're debating. We're probably going with October 2024. So you got time. Okay, because I have a wedding that just popped up. May of 24. Oh, you know what? Actually, I decided we're going to make it May 24, so if you could clear your calendar, that'd be fantastic. I, I have such a hard time making plans for like a weekend in advance. Just yeah. Just thinking about making plans hey, for like Hey, remember a year? that thing that we told you to save two years ago? Yeah. yeah just you, like, you hey, make sure that you're there. Oh, oh, chicken's coming home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to go back to the Kirstie Alley thing. I never found her attractive. Oh, I love Kirstie <laughs> what? Alley. I never found her that attractive. Look up oh, Kirstie yeah. Alley on Cheers, dude. No, I, no, oh, I yeah. watched Cheers. I watched, I watched like seven seasons of fucking Cheers. Or, uh, or, uh, in, the la- in the last five years. I, it's look, still fresh. Look who's coming, you know? Look who's talking. Look who's talking. I'm sorry. Look who's, com- <laughs> look, look look who's, who's coming, coming was a different movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, I, was, I was looking who's and, coming uh, <laughs> myself. <laughs> gross. I thought she was still cute in those. Oh, I watched the shit out of those. Those were on TBS all the time when I was I, a kid. I don't know. It was just kind of like a. Uh, I think it's, it's a Midwestern something. part of me just looking for. Uh, well, nice I mean, I like a, I thick, like a red bone. Thick, you know what I mean? Maybe thick. it was the shoulder pads. Maybe that fucked me up. Dude, thick, thick, broad shouldered bitch with some <laughs> thick tired. eyebrows. Come on. Now. Oh, a big old eyebrow. Yeah, when you, that's when you know mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you get an eyebrow, mm-hmm. like Colin Farrell eyebrows on a. Oh woman. my god. Like uh, the Kirstie Monopoly Alley. guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Groucho Marx. Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. No, this is what I'm thinking about though. Too is that uh, you know, you know, I I had a, I had a crush on Kirstie Alley from sure. Cheers, but then what was old girl from uh, uh, Third Rock from the Sun? Oh, oh, shit. she's yeah. cute. She was cute, right? She was cute, but like tall and but mean. She was tall and mean, and she yeah. had kind of a big face, yeah, like a big mouth, like Steven Tyler kind mm-hmm. of. Clay, yeah. who was that girl? I'm looking it up. You're my official IMDb scholar. Big mouth's fucking me up. I don't know why you gotta say big mouth. She had a big mouth, like Steven Tyler almost. Yeah. That's where we got our 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 sweet baby angel JGL Joseph Gordon Levitt. You know, I do love Joseph mm-hmm. Gordon Levitt. I like yeah. that movie where he was addicted to pornography. Was that? Oh, Kristen Johnston with Sally Solomon. Yeah. What? Kristen Johnston. Oh yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Yeah, just gone to you the same time. You know she, what? She could juggle my balls around like the softballs. That you know she what? Probably she has a very with. similar quality in her facial structure to Kirstie Alley, actually. I'm yeah. Thinking. See, Kai has a type. He have a type. Yeah. You like that Cro Magnon forehead on the woman that ooh, really carries. Ooh, 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 ooh. She was ooh. Ivana Hump a lot in Austin Powers. Ooh. She was. She really? Was. Yep. She was the Russian one that they played chess, remember? And it was like the nipples on the chess pieces. Mm-hmm. In the very first Austin Powers. Yeah. Ivana Humboldt. Ivana Ivan Ivan, Humboldt. Ivan oh, Humboldt. Come take me, you silly monkey man. You're hairy like You're animal. Hairy like animal. Fucking <laughs> stupid. It's fucking. Uh, but this is the ridiculous. thing, though, is that that was a movie of a generation. It really was. Like it, it we set lived, a tone. We lived through that. Do you know? Like, do, do you know why So I Married okay. an Ex Murderer uh, did not do well? It's because it I don't wasn't know why. Austin Powers funny. No. Okay. This is this is what really didn't fucks sell. me up is that there are literally people alive today based on the fact that someone had a fucking you make me horny baby Austin Powers impression. Like someone picked someone up in the fucking late 90s, early line? 2000s with the fake Austin Powers shit. I don't know. That makes me feel like people meeting Wait, so it, like at the Golden Corral on their way to a Larry yeah. the Cable Guy do, show. Do you not think that there's a Golden yeah. Corral baby? Oh, there's a Golden no. Corral like, baby maybe amongst us. Babies. There may be a Golden Corral baby there's, amongst us. Like there... <laughs> 
<laughs> There's literally, we live in a world where literally it's like, it's like, oh, they could yeah. be anywhere. They just enough, live. They just live. That's enough to propagate spawn. Mom, how did you <laughs> like, meet dad? Well, we were at a shitty bar in well, South City. Yeah. And, and then uh, he asked me, oh, do yeah. I make you honey, baby? Do I make you Randy? Do I make and, you, yeah. And I said, yeah. And then we went back to his place. And then, and then nine months later, you happened. And it was a blessing. And it was a blessing in disguise. And then the older generations and, and, and ask us how you know we what? don't want to kill ourselves. It's so elusive, the blessing. <laughs> I'm still waiting to realize it even, but it was for sure. It's, it's okay. Ridiculous. Before you think you want to unalive yourself, it's the gift of life. Quit saying unalive. <laughs> like, We're not on TikTok. The post isn't going to get taken down. Okay, well, I, I don't know. You can say kill on this. We can talk about shooting babies. We could talk. We could say the kill word. Have we talked about shooting babies yet? No, I said, I said, what babies. I said was, if you have to shoot a baby. <laughs> what I said was, if you have to shoot a baby, leave the baby's gun <laughs> on his person until people take photos. Yeah. And, it's, and sprinkle some crack on him. And sprinkle <laughs> some crack on him if you got some. If he doesn't have any crack, there's, put some crack in the gun. Played. Put crack in the baby's gun, but try not to touch it. Like operation. Oh, like rock salt. <laughs> You're playing operation with the firearm on the deceased infant. So the You're crack baby has to put its whole forearm. If you could do it like fucking- like how you would season something, like throw it throw it at an angle. You want like salt bay the crack on the You baby? want to salt bay the crack into the rifle if you can. Anyway. What That's why you couldn't let him shoot you, is because the gun was full of crack. What else do we have on the list? Um <laughs> a fleshy mauve. I don't, know what, I don't know what that is. Bumblebee Foods, two managers charged in death of man cooked with tuna. One more time. Come on. What's that's, that? That's, that's Bumblebee Foods, yeah. two managers charged in death of man cooked with tuna. Jose Molina was performing maintenance in a 35-foot-long oven when a co-worker filled the pressure cooker with six tons of tuna, and it was turned on. So they let it cook? The guy was in there. So here's the thing. The guy guy obviously didn't acknowledge that this guy was in there. Mm -hmm. He turned the oven on and Mm -hmm. filled it with six tons of tuna. That's just like uh, Dr. Manhattan from The Watchmen. It's the same exact thing. It's exactly what happened. It's exactly what happened. He's Tuna Man now. He became Tuna Man. (laughs) He's the Tuna Tuna Man. man. He's the Tuna Man. (laughs) Jose Molina is. Don't talk to me. I'm the Tuna Man. The Tuna Man. Oh, that's fucking wild, really? So did we did they uh, Bumblebee Foods wait. and two managers were charged by LA prosecutors Monday with vi- this is well, from a couple years ago. How but long ago I just, did they how long did it take for them to figure it out? Did hold the on. tuna go out? No. Did they sell violating the safety regulations and the death of a worker who was cooked in an industrial oven with six tons of tuna fish. Dude, Jose time. Molina was performing maintenance in the thirty five foot long oven at the company Santa Fe Springs plant Whoa. before dawn, October eleventh, twenty twelve. When a coworker who mistakenly believed Molina was in the bathroom filled the pressure cooker with twelve thousand pounds of canned tuna and it was turned on. Okay, this is the thing that blows my mind is that there's absolutely no fucking way that they were able to get out every bit of human. No. <laughs> like well, like I, they mm. they like uh they shut it down for sure and it they were like, well, a- "We're going to go ahead and <clears throat> clean out." It's like the same thing as like when I drop glass in an ice bin as a bartender, right? Yeah. It's like you I'll clean, clean I'll burn out. the ice bin, I'll go ahead and do that. But that's like what, like, <laughs> like sixty pounds of ice. Yeah, I'm like if that, ice. not like six tons of tuna that's going to be canned well, so for think, human consumption. Think about it this way as well. Uh, so the tuna is probably a clean fish cut up and put in there to cook. But the guy had clothes and fell. clothes and skin and all kinds of stuff. Somebody so had to means, have it out for him. That means that in that tuna was human dude, cracklings, dude, like no, chicken, that, like skin. That guy had to have somebody just have like he he had to have been having someone fuck his wife or something like that yeah like, apparently there was no protocol in place to prevent that from happening i, I, I oh. okay well as long as they're safe <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's cool as long as like you know it's a, just, i think keenan read that i think osha is a thing i think well that's who filed the charges okay, yeah. and uh i think keenan said that the family got six million dollars that's i don't i don't know I mean, I don't is know. Is that worth it? Well, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Does hear really me make out. It better? Can you hear me out? Just hear me out. Six million dollars, or he keeps cleaning tuna ovens at four thirty in the morning. 
Well, in one of those situations, he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or what if they instead of? What, what, I'm just what trying about, to think. I'm just trying to think. At where do you draw the line? I would have said five million dollars and free tuna for life. That's what I would have said. I I would say that the uh, the family gets a uh, a fucking black card with unlimited funds from like Sunkist. Like Dude, that is that is like Sunkist. Like oh okay cool we're set. No, that's the thing. It's like I'd rather not have it be finite. Uh, I, like how about how about I get six million a year? How about how about I get twenty percent of all bumblebee fucking tuna sales every year? That's a lot of bubbly. That's a lot of tuna sales. But I'm just saying, fuck a lump sum. I need you income. You could give them one percent. <gasps> that's a bar as fuck, dog. <clears throat> one more time. Fuck a lump sum. I need income. That could be the JG Wentworth jingle. We're doing a comeback with JG Wentworth. Fuck a Time lump in. sum. I'll email my guy. Call the jingleman. I got a guy. The Call ching- the jingleman. jingleman. <laughs> I can't. I can you picture a jingleman? He's like a little guy. He's wearing a bell. I mean, I have an annuity and I need cash now. Was a bob. Mm-hmm. I think there's someone coming down the stairs. Don't call it a comeback. Isn't it Kaiju? Been here for years. No, he went to use the restroom. Is it is it Dane Whaler? Danielle, she came down to get a beer. She wanted a beer. There she is. Yes, can I get you the yams? What? You guys drink all the fucking beer? That doesn't seem right. King, did you drink all the beer? How many beers did you get? Twelve. I'm I've, sure o- two. I've only had like four. And I had two. Or five. Well, we should have gotten more than twelve beers. Twelve beers is not enough. I thought beers. twelve would have been a good amount. I didn't know that we were gonna be plowing through the beers. I didn't know you were gonna be plowing through the beers either. I've only had like four or five. Four or five. There's plenty of places nearby to get beer. There's Honey, plenty you of places. Could go to the place to get beer. Here, do yes. you want money? Yeah, sugar papa. Um. Oh, oh my God, Danielle. Guys, I I can't believe you wouldn't get thirty beers. Why would I get a thirty pack of beer? We're not in college. Because you have Kai and Danielle with you, you can't run out of beer. You have to. Get I a thought 30. twelve would have sufficed. But you can't run out. Is the honey, thing. It's not about. It's so not about the getting the exact supported. amount of beers that you need. It's about no, honey, you twist, not twist running out base. of beers. Twist running out base. of beers. Once you start beers, there you go. There you go. Now, now angle it back to where it's supposed to be. You there can't you run out of beers. We ran out of beers. There's no more beer. Kai, the beer's gone. Danielle, can you help? Danielle, well, can, we'll wrap you... this up because we're way over an hour. Oh, are we really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are totally good. Oh, oh shit! It's almost eleven. Yeah, we've been live for an hour fifteen. Honey, that's a honey. That's a camera. Yes. That's the camera, baby. <laughs> she was trying to talk into it like a microphone. Uh, <laughs> it it also has a microphone on the top of it, but it's not on. Oh my god! Well. well Every, we, everything's been so, so we've live, derailed. So lit. It's good. It's yeah. so lit. It's such I a vibe. This was a fun one, guys. You know? I'm so blessed that you guys could be here. The episode's right. called Fleshy Mauve. It's out tonight. <laughs> G- give us, give us one more. Uh, give us one more. One more what? One, one more, more little anything. like a uh, one more little like little uh, snippet, like a little like uh, uh, you know a clipping of. Uh, of reality? Yeah, a clipping of reality. To you know, just... young men like you, this is where they get their news. You guys don't keep up with current events. You would never hear about this stuff if it wasn't for me. Oh, no, I doom scroll. I just, I, I choose not to acknowledge I'm, my reality. Listen. Um, oh, this is recent <laughs> and local. February 8th. Tuesday was an unusual morning for the staff at the St. Louis Zoo after an Andean bear was discovered outside of his enclosure in the river's edge. I love that. Oh, shit, really? The 300-pound bear named Ben was found outside of his enclosure at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. It took staff members 90 minutes to sedate the bear and get it back into an indoor holding area. Okay, this is the thing, though, is that if if you didn't say that it was an Andean bear, this just could have sounded like a fucking bro dude bro from Wash U that just like found himself in a place he couldn't have been. Was his name was Dave? What was it? <laughs> ben. Ben, yeah. Ben. ben. He's like, oh, yeah. Ben, let's get you back to where you need to go, Ben. ben what are he you could be, doing? He could be a Peruvian exchange student. He, well, 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 here's my whole thing is they spent 90 minutes trying to sedate this bear. However, they still had to shoot and kill Harambe. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, the Harambe had a baby by the throat. 
This no, bear, this bear was no, by himself. The zoo was, was protecting that baby and dragging him by the. But angle. they were afraid he was flinging him around. They were afraid he was going to hurt him. Okay, but if that baby had an assault rifle, we could have shot the baby. I don't. I'm not advocating for that. That's hey, not hey, what I said. Hey boys, at, w- at what point were either of you like 300 pounds or close to you? I'm right. I'm <laughs> right there. Like, I'm right there right now. I'm like 310, baby. Like, you're 310 yeah we might weigh the same right now i'm just i'm i got that i got that beef so you're beefing like, up hey, uh we had you like said a, you got engaged you're beefing up you got caked up dog dude, we, I know. we had a clay or a it's jake rough. just go ahead and find themselves outside of the oh enclosure. but that's the thing yeah. that's what i said too when <laughs> i said that bear took them 90 minutes just he's, to date me. <laughs> he's only 300 pounds he's a bear they they don't know they don't know the proper love language mm. you, you go ahead are and they me so are you telling me they make ben a soup are you are you telling me it would take this the morning staff at the St. Louis Zoo ninety minutes to sedate hey, me? I can take yeah. that Indian sun bear to fucking uh, Golden like, Corral, uh, Iowa buffet. I, <laughs> or, no, I would say trophy room. It would take <laughs> them ninety minutes to sedate me and get me indoors. I could I could put that bear to sleep in thirty minutes of the trophy room. You just go ahead and give me a uh, three brother. Oh, he's gonna yeah. feed that bear <laughs> no, absolutely. Until it someone by the yeah, give table. me give me three starry nights and a pitcher of amber bock and call <laughs> me later. We're done. We're done, honey. Oh, go I'm not gonna get to the bottom. Home. I'm oh, not you, gonna get to the bottom of the box. Back in the day, you remember a late night happy hour at Mike Duffy's in Kirkwood? Oh yeah, the, brother. The Five dollar. One time I woke up with one of those on my nightstand. Like half <laughs> full. I was driving home drinking it. I think this this is the thing about like drinking in St. Louis. I feel like it's like it's the idea of like, hey, are you sure? Okay, <laughs> like that's it. I was supposed to do stuff today, and I was like, Kai, let's go get lunch, and then we ended up drinking for eleven hours. <laughs> well, no, we ate too. We did eat, eat, eat. Well, we Why wouldn't you have drink. gotten more beers? We could do that. We could pod all night, but you just you didn't get thirty beers. I got twelve beers. I thought it's it would not be enough suffice. beers. It's not enough beers. They're bush lights. I, I could drink twelve of those in an hour. I didn't know this is my first time here. This is my fault. I dropped the ball. Hi, I'm so grateful that you could be here. You're welcome anytime. I, I fumbled the bag. It's literally this easy. We didn't even get to half of my notes. We didn't even talk about any of the heavy shit I wanted to get to about Satanism. Oh, or... I really wanted to talk about the Satanism funnel. Well, you're out of stuff. beer, so we have to wrap did, did it you up. Hear about right. the abortion clinic that can't get closed because it's it's uh, it's supported by Satanism, so it'd be uh, unconstitutional to work against this abortion clinic you see that shit no obviously not oh well we'll have to talk about it next time yeah next time on jacob v weekly i'm doing another pod in a couple days because we're doing four a month we're doing four free pods a month and then there's exclusive content every week on the patreon.com slash jacob v original music by jacob v wherever you stream music online spotify apple music whatever Bandcamp. no antics no space antics the best local band in St. Louis right now, absolutely on fire, has very little to do with me. I'm just along for the ride. We have a new music video that I uh, shot at our mother's cabin a couple weeks ago. Oh, That's that on the, the YouTube. Is that the one? That's is the, that the one that I got bit by uh, uh, spiders at? No. Oh, yeah, no. I oh, got, the cabin. I got, oh, yeah. yeah, no, I got, I got eaten to shit a lot. Yeah, I don't sleep there. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah I, I, I haven't slept there in years. Uh, just because I'm not a woodsman, you know what Spider I mean. Bite. I am not a man of the woods. Well, you don't really need to be. It's just more or less allowing your soft, fleshy body to be given up to, to and, the forest. And I am a. I would. So I do like to surrender my soft white underbelly, but not not to the insects of nature. I was wrapping this up. Blinded by Stereo has a vinyl record. It's my first and only available vinyl record uh, in my career. Tape by Blinded by Stereo is available on Bandcamp. Matt will mail it to you from his deluxe apartment in an undisclosed location near the zoo where it took him 90 minutes to sedate that 300 pound bear. That's crazy. I I mean, that's, he's a tiny bear. Get him out of there. Maybe they were trying not to overdose him because he's such a small bear. They should have taken him to fucking... He's a uh, wily little guy. They should have taken him to Patrick McConnell's Get him. Oh, I've passed out there in 45 minutes. That's no big deal. I could get blackout. Are you nuts? A couple car bombs in there. You're good to go. Dude, I could be in jail in 90 minutes if we had if we had the right amount of liquor. That bear's got it easy. Uh, I'm I'm California sober, though, by the grace of God. We'll talk about that next time, too. Okay. Okay. 
Um, what else? What else am I promoting? What else do we got? I'm doing uh, trivia every Thursday. Bluewood Brewing. I host the best trivia game in town. It's free to play. You can get free beer every round. Come out to that every Thursday here in town at the Blue Hood. We got to go get more bush light for the fellas. Looks like I'm driving. We love you. Jacob V Weekly. JacobV.com is live, though uh, still being fully populated. JacobV.com. All of our socials are across the screen here at Jacob V Weekly on Instagram. Stay sweet. We love you. Mwah.